In my short time on the defence brief, one of the things that's become an ongoing issue is funding. Now, it's been very clear that not only have we in the UK for many years let go of our responsibilities to correctly fund our armed forces, but so have many of our allies. And it's been interesting to see the new United States President, Mr Trump, the way he's talking about this now and the way that he's got his people trying to get the message out that NATO, whilst it's kept us safe for many, many years, is in a position where questions are being asked. And those questions are all about the fact, why aren't our key allies putting in their share? We're supposed to have a minimum of 2% commitment, and yet you look across NATO, that is not being honoured. And Mr Trump's team have highlighted, highlighted this and spoken about this. And it's something we need to understand as well, because we're not doing it in the UK. The figures say 2%, but it's not 2%, because they've added in all sorts of extra things, so it's not a like-for-like -like comparison from where we were. In order for us to defend our values, our nations, our friends across Europe, as well as our own borders, we must have effective defence, and we must have procurement that really gets the best bang for the buck. At the moment, these things aren't being achieved. And I, for one, applaud not only the fact that Donald Trump's team have pointed this out, but also that he's made a historic commitment to more defence spending. We should look at this and say, yeah, yeah, actually, we need to start thinking about these things because we've let things go for far too long. So as a party, I hope that we'll be pushing forward with a really strong set of ideas, which we're still working on. I'm still coming out to all your branches. Please keep the uh, requests coming in. Every invitation gets a response, and I try to honour as many as I possibly can. So keep asking me to come and see you. But the message has got to ring out strong and clear. We need more spending on defence. We need better ways to keep hold of the people who join our forces. We need to ensure that they're not persecuted for doing their jobs. And we need to understand better ways that we can not only defend ourselves against aggressive nation states, but against the ongoing threat of ISIS and others. These are the projects we're looking at. There's many more to be included. I look forward to your input, but be assured I'm on the case and I'm listening to what you say. I hope to see you all soon. Cheers.